Hi, you're welcome. Building a new project is very, very exciting. And as such, we sometimes out of the excitement and all of that, we jump right into doing that project without necessarily considering some very important factors. And so it's these factors, one or two of these factors I want to um, touch. Before I go into the video proper, I'll be very, very grateful if you subscribe to my channel. Just take a little time and subscribe to the channel. And then also uh, drop a comment, share, like, and as much as possible, um, push it to people so that they can see and also benefit from the videos we put out here, you know, periodically. So for the very first thing, if you want to build a house or anything that you need to build, the first thing to consider is the foundation. You can never take the foundation, you know, away. Now, for a very good foundation, there are two things that you need to consider. You need to consider actually three things. You need to consider the type of building you are putting up the type of foundation you are going to use and also the soil type there are some soil types that you can't build let's say a four five story building on because of how porous the sand or the soil is so based on that you need to consider and that's why when you are building certain buildings say from three, four stories up, you are required by law to have a soil test done for you before you can go ahead and build. Now, the second one is also the type of, uh, what do you call it? The type of foundation you want to do, whether you're doing a strip foundation, pile foundation, raft foundation, you know, these are different type of foundation based on your choice and then your 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 finances and other factors because there are certain buildings that require a certain standard foundation so you need to have done some of these research and then um that aside like i was saying the type of building so that would determine whether the, the foundation is going very deep and a whole lot of things but um one other thing that we usually would overlook is uh, your pillars, the columns, and how they are aligned. So, um, I have a video I'll show you. We, a client, you know, saw a video on YouTube and then called that, you know, we should just come and help look at her work the contract wasn't for us anyway but we were asked to just come and you know just look around see what's going on and then you know advise appropriately and also if they are doing the right thing we just you know so ours was just to go there and just to look at what was going on and then find a way of adjusting and advising now we found out at the end of the day that the columns that have been positioned were not well positioned. The columns that have been positioned were not aligned. Now the mistake most people do is that, oh, since it is not well aligned, we can just, as we go up, find a way of shifting them and adjusting to make sure that they all fall in line. But that is totally wrong because you see, the columns or what everybody likes to call the pillars that we put are supposed to be put in a vertical way. And from the ground, it continues all the way to the top. If there is a need to shift the building based on the design or to twist it a bit, which will go out of the columns that has been aligned, then there are ways to do it. There are technical ways that the structural engineer would have to, you know, 
take into consideration a lot of things before they can realign or adjust that kind of um, beams or columns that you need while you are building. Now, if that is not the case and you out of some um, negligence or something, you get to see that your columns have been misaligned, you need to call the um the contractor or the foreman or whoever you need to call his attention to what has been done this is because you see if you are going let's say if you are doing just a single story you might just consider leaving it like that but if you are going beyond a single story you have one more two or three on top of whatever you are building down then you need to take that very seriously because all the load that is being carried goes through the columns, the beams, and all of that. Most of times, the blocks that are being laid, the block work, most of times do not carry any load. It is these beams and it is these columns that carry all the load that the house is supposed to have. So imagine your house, is the, the weight is coming down and the column that is supposed to stand right under to receive that load has been misaligned or has moved from where it is it means that the other columns are going to suffer the weight that is going to be on the other columns is going to be so high and based on that you are going to 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 suffer it one way or the other as the years go by because it can break it can cause serious damage to your building a lot of loss to yourself financial loss and sometimes it can even lead to injuries or death so you need to be more careful and more detailed in the video you are seeing we saw that and i mean it's not the fault of the the foreman on the ground based on the way the building has been designed the two or is it the three that where that the middle one moved away from is such that they are not building or they are not casting concrete through so because they are not casting concrete through the heap of sand makes it almost impossible for you to see the line you know usually you use the rope to you know take your alignment and your lines and everything but because of the heap of sun, it made it very difficult for the client, for the, the mason or the foreman on the ground to notice, you know, that misalignment. And that is why it is. So when we saw it, we quickly drew his attention to it. And then he had to take everything off like you are seeing in the building. He has to take everything off and find a way of arranging it. Yo, your <laughs> manager? I have to find a way of arranging it so please try as much as possible to be very detailed and while you go onto the ground we understand you are the client and maybe would not have much knowledge on some of these things but at least your eyes can see you'll be able to notice if something is going out of place or some you should be able to um, notice it so basically, um, the video today is just to draw your attention to some of these very important facts. So the very first one is that when you're building, you need to be careful. You need to take very good at, you know, notice of your foundation. The foundation is very important and the foundation is um, based on um, the foundation is based on the building they are going to put up it also um based on the, the the type of foundation you are going to do and then the soil type as well and when all of these are done and done well you should make sure that from the footing stage your columns which we like to call the pillars are well aligned before you continue any block work or continue to do your form work around the pillars to cast so thank you very much for making time to watch our video but then again 
please try as much as possible to um, subscribe. I always ask that you help me by subscribing and being part of this big family so that anytime we drop a video, you'll be the first to see. Thank you very much. Um, if you have any question, put it below. I will attend to them when I I, 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 I I get to see it. And, you know, be good and let me see you in the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.